that, that this is real. This is real. Your children are in heaven. God is more powerful than anything. Nothing can stop him. Nothing can stop his love for children. Nothing can stop his desire for you to have children because God wants you to replenish the earth. He wants you to go out and to multiply. And nothing is stronger than him. Nothing is can keep your children from coming from heaven. So I want to share with you. I'm not going to tell you about everything that I saw in the body parts storehouse in heaven because you don't care about all that. You want to know about the children. So that's just, I'm going to just cut out everything else and tell you about the children that I saw in heaven. Uh, so Jesus and I, we were walking through the body parts storehouse in heaven and went past all the legs and all the eyes and the lungs and all this. And we came to a row of these little jars on one side and a row of jars on the other side. Just rows, rows and rows and rows as far as you can see. And I asked Jesus, what are these jars? And he said, one jar, one side is women's eggs. One side is men's sperm. And he says, your babies are in heaven. They're there. The eggs that you need are there. We don't need them in heaven. <laughs> we don't need them in heaven. And we're not going to be conceiving children in heaven. That is for the earth. You need eggs here. You need sperm here. You need that here on the earth. And Jesus has your eggs in a jar in heaven with your name on it and they're yours and so the way that you get them from heaven from the body parts storehouse is you ask you know the father wants you to go forth and to multiply that's your scripture go forth and multiply father god i want to go forth and multiply just like your heart's desire is for me to have children the angels will go into the body parts storehouse collect your eggs, collect your jar, and by the Holy Spirit, they are put inside of you, and then you will be able to conceive and have children. It's not hard. He didn't make it hard. He's not withholding your children from you. You don't have to be foster parents. You don't have to work at a daycare. You don't have to prove to God what a great parent you would be. Your eggs are there. Your children are there, and he wants you to have children. He wants you to go forth and to multiply. So I'm going to pray with you real quick. Okay. So if you want to close your eyes and put your hands on, uh, on your, on your chest or on your, on your stomach, I want to pray. And I want to agree with you that your children, your eggs, your sperm will come down from heaven. Okay. Father God, I just thank you, Lord, that your word says that you want us to go forth and and to multiply. It is your will. It is your desire for us to have children. It is your will for us to conceive and to have children. That's why the eggs and the sperm are in heaven. So I thank you, Father, that nothing, no medicine, no complications, no trauma is greater than you, is greater than your hand. It is greater. Nothing is greater than you, Daddy God. So I ask right now for the angels to go into that body parts storehouse. Get a hold of that jar that has their name on it. And bring it. I ask that you go now, angels, go now. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you take that jar and you place those eggs, that sperm inside those people that need them now. And I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus, that you paid the price. You are beaten beyond recognition for them to be totally healed, to the, for them to be whole, complete and whole. So I thank you, Jesus. I give you all the praise and I give you all the glory. And I am excited, Father God, to hear about the children. I'm excited about hearing that you're pregnant and you are going to have a baby. So let me know. Please share and like this on your social media so other people can conceive and can have babies. So we can go forth and multiply. Okay.